Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. He is Greg, and he's known as the Hydrogen Man, and he's going to tell you why he's known as the Hydrogen Man in one second. But before we begin, I just want to give a quick shout out. I just want to let everybody know that I have just opened my own vitamin and supplement and health and wellness product um, uh, site, and it's called wellnessessential.store. And we carry all different types of wellness and health products to help you prevent and maintain your overall health. So check out the site and it's wellnessessential.store. It will be in the description and I hope you'll like it. it it's a lot of good products that will help you um, move, keep your overall health well and to also great stuff like red light therapy and all different types of articles to help you understand and utilize these products so i hope to see you there and right now i want to get back into talking to greg because i am so excited to talk to uh, greg we have a lot of things in common we were talking before the show so why don't you just let everybody know a little about yourself and what you do well, it's obviously, we, we were talking off camera and it was such a pleasure. We were talking so long, it was almost a podcast right there. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. And yeah, people know me as the Hydrogen Man on YouTube. And basically that's just because I was extremely sick and a lot like yourself, I was just, you know, in tears over my situation and I couldn't really live the life that I wanted to live. And then I felt like my life was basically ruined and I uh, couldn't walk and I had numerous health issues. You know, my liver wasn't that great. My kidneys were not that great. My immune system was absolute garbage. My, yeah. you know, the gut issues. Um, but it was a severe pain and the tumors that were probably some of the worst things that were really happening to me. The inability to walk, um, not being able to even use a, a remote control for a television because my, my joints hurt that bad. And uh, yeah, so it was just absolute hell. And, you know, and then obviously being bedridden for extreme long periods of time, you can imagine what that does to your body. So yeah, it was an absolute hell. And I just kind of felt like I had, you know, run out of options, uh, mostly because I, I actually understood the medical establishment really well. I worked in the medical system for like over two decades or so. And I knew how it worked. And I knew that when I had to go in, you know, for what I was having to deal with, Right. Um, I kind of knew that they probably weren't going to be able to fix the problem. Uh, but I went in anyway, cause we didn't have, you know, I didn't have a lot of options and eventually it was clear that they were not going to be able to help me and that I was going to have to find my own way. And when I was looking for the path, I learned a lot of things about health and I read a lot of data. I'm really big on scientific evidence and data rather than just taking people's words for it. Mm -hmm. uh, because I mean, I was doing my research and also found numerous podcasts or people talking about things, but everybody was contradicting each other. You know, some yeah. people would say, hey, you should eat nothing but fruit. And other people should be like, no, you need you eat nothing but meat and you should drink this water. No, that water. And it, it was very confusing. And eventually I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to find my own way. And I'm definitely not trying to my own horn, but I have a pretty unique way of figuring things out. I'm actually uh, kind of good at it if my whole heart is in it. Yeah. And my whole heart, I basically had to put my whole heart in it because this was my life. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, I stumbled upon some weird medical uh, data, scientific studies that were actually coming out of Japan in regards to hydrogen. And when I was reading about it, it just seemed way too good to be true. And I was like, this can't be real. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't even use it for years. I, I read the data for years, but I never actually tried it because it was so complicated. It's like, what, what kind of hydrogen do are we talking about here? Because there's different types of hydrogen. How would I exactly get my hands on this stuff? I mean, where do I go get hydrogen? You can't go to the corner drugstore. And it, 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 so I ended up learning a lot about this subject. And then, of course, people affectionately started calling me, dude, you're like the hydrogen man. Like, you know, there were so many things that I was piecing together that I believe the world still doesn't know. And, uh, and we can talk about the data, the science, and we could even talk about where it literally starts going down the spiritual path, too, that I don't think anybody would have ever expected that I definitely didn't. And so it's been an absolute life changer. And, and and that's why it's not only changed my life and many people that I know, you know, from my father to, you know, friends and, you know, different family members and obviously my life and hydrogen has done things that are literally hard to believe. I mean, it, it, it and I'm a skeptic. So yeah. for me, 
you know, I had to see it for myself and it was unbelievable. And the amount of studies that have come out at this point, I mean, it's already medically approved. So, I mean, not in the U S but in Japan, this stuff is medically approved and it is an absolute shocker of what it can do. I mean, one of the other medical issues I had was actually a heart condition and I needed to have open heart surgery. Wow. A lot of people don't know that. And I never expected the hydrogen to resolve that part. I just figured, honestly, I just thought I would die from it. Um, as a doctor told me, they're like, this was years ago, but they said, look, you only have 10 years left. They're like your, your heart's going to give out in 10 years or less. So unless we do something about it. And I just kind of accepted my fate because as you and I were talking off camera, you know that um, at a very young age, I wasn't very fond of, of life anyway. And so I was okay with checking out. And uh, lo and behold, the hydrogen, you know, and I don't give any medical advice or make any medical claims. I always like to tell people that, but the hydrogen made my condition completely go away. My cardiologist was absolutely blown away uh, because they were scheduling me for surgery. And I started using my technique on other people who've had the same heart condition. And sure enough, theirs went away. And it was like, whoa, what in the world? I mean, this stuff is mind bogging, you know, so mind boggling that it's hard to believe that it's out there and that that many people don't know about it. Hydrogen's amazing. Molecular hydrogen, by the way, that's ex specifically what we're talking about. Okay. Now, you know, for people who don't know much about molecular hydrogen, can you explain yes. what it is and what it does? Man, I wish I had, uh, I wish I had this information when I was first doing my research. It's actually super easy. It's just a gas. So oxygen is a gas. In fact, mm -hmm. in our atmospheric pressure, you know, we're breathing about 20%, 20 something percent oxygen. Right. Molecular hydrogen is just a gas, just like oxygen. Okay. It, you know, and in fact, water is actually made of those two things. H2 is molecular hydrogen, O is oxygen. So water is literally made of these two specific gases, oxygen and hydrogen. And how did you incorporate it into your body? So one of the, there's many things that I've incorporated in order to find my way back to health. And one of the things, obviously I read a lot of scientific data, but the other thing that I really look at quite closely is nature. Yeah. So I believe in the power of nature. I believe that nature is incredibly wise, super beautiful. I mean, and there's still so much to learn. And so ironically, there's a place um, in called Lourdes, France, or Lourdes, France, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Yeah. in France, obviously. It's like this holy site where people go and they drink the water and they were claiming to have these miraculous healings. So many healings were happening that eventually they did send, you know, scientists. Um, they were documenting a lot of these cases medically. I mean, they got a stack of medical cases where they can literally prove that people were healing. And uh, a lot of these scientists were testing the water and all of them were actually saying they weren't finding anything. They said, it's just H2O. And the reason that it's tricky is because molecular hydrogen, this gas leaves the water very quickly. So if I were to put it in a vial and ship it to a lab, by the time it got there, there'd be probably no, no gas in it left. Yeah. And so it was very tricky for them to figure it out, but leave it to the Japanese. I don't know how much you know about the Japanese, but I'm very impressed by them. They're the ones who figured it out. And they figure out that this water has these high levels of molecular hydrogen. And they started doing lab tests on, you know, mice at first. Mm -hmm. And they saw the incredible results of it. And it just ended up leading down a path of, you know, learning about hydrogen and what it can and cannot do. And now it's led to not just 100 studies or 200 or 300. I believe that number is over 2,000 studies at this point. It's unbelievable. And, um, and it's made such an absolute uh, impact on many people's lives, obviously mine, which is why I now share the, what I do, because I think it can help a lot of people out there. Now you're, you're taking this in a water substance. Is that how you? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. So to answer your question, what you do is you use water as a carrier okay. for the gas. So mm -hmm. the gas is dissolved. Kind of think about it like soda pop yep. or even carbonated water. Mm -hmm. It's got CO2 in it. So yes, it's kind of like that. You dissolve it into water, but I've also discovered that inhaling the gas, you can do that too. And I'm actually the guy who created a protocol where you use the water and the gas in a certain way. And it actually works even better than just the water or just the gas on their own. It actually, they activate new things in regards to how it affects the body. And so that's been the real best way to use it at this time. That's actually accessible to you in your home and stuff like that. And, and actually affordable because back right. when I was doing this, it really wasn't that affordable back then. It was tricky back in the day. 
Now, how long did you have to do it in order to start seeing changes? Sometimes people usually say about three months is when people start to start to have changes and they start to see a change in their body. How long did it take you to notice that your body was improving and, and that your conditions were, were getting better? Well, it really depended on the condition. And I've seen windows from three months, six months, nine months. Mm -hmm. And then I've even seen some, like my father was actually a really good example. He had glaucoma for over 30 years. I never thought the hydrogen would do anything for his glaucoma because there was no scientific evidence of it. I'd never seen a yeah. study showing that. And he was using the hydrogen regularly and it was great. It made a lot of things go away, like his arthritis, yeah. um, diabetes. Uh, what else did he go through? Um, oh, blood pressure and cholesterol issues. And, um, and then the glaucoma, but all the things went away within the whole six to eight month period for him, except the glaucoma. And I gave up on the glaucoma because after one year, he has to have his eyes checked every year for his glaucoma. So he doesn't go blind. Yes. And he, after the first year, I was really excited. Like, I want to see the results. And I thought, you know, I was going to prove something here that hadn't been proven yet scientifically, but the test came back that he still had glaucoma. So I was like, okay, I guess it didn't work. Or maybe it takes more time. By the second year, so this is two years of him using hydrogen regularly, Yeah, still showed that he had glaucoma. So it, at that point, I kind of gave up and thought, okay, it's not going to work for glaucoma, but I'm happy that it worked for everything else. Yeah. The third year, he actually contacted me and he was super excited. About, and he's like, hey, I'm at the eye doctor. I'm like, dad, I know that it doesn't work for the glaucoma. It's okay. You know, you don't have to keep me updated anymore because I was always <laughs> asking for updates. And he said, no, you don't know why I'm calling. He said, I'm calling because I just had my test and they said they can't detect glaucoma. And even they couldn't believe it because they have been his doctors for over 30 years. And they've documented his case very closely. And they, they eat so much so that the doctors didn't believe it that they said, we need to get you retested. So they brought him back two weeks later did the retesting same results and they still wouldn't accept the results they said nope this can't be true there this, this doesn't happen to somebody who's getting older usually when yeah. you're getting older these things get worse and i should say that hydrogen has shown a lot of anti-aging properties to it so it's very interesting um but anyway you know because i'm like 100 years old no i'm just kidding <laughs> i, I just thought are. i'd throw that out <laughs> <laughs> You know, but anyway, so yeah, by year three, he, uh, it came out negative and it, I think they tested him three or four times and they said, you know what, this is ridiculous. We know you have glaucoma. So they had to send him to a specialist where they test even differently and it's much more in depth. And that took uh, almost half a year for him to get that appointment because it was a very difficult doctor to see. But in yeah. the end, it appears that the glaucoma pretty much went away. The doctor didn't know what to think of it and they gave him the minimum dose of the eye drops that he has to use mm -hmm. just because they were scared that if he stopped using them that something would happen and they've yeah, never yeah. seen a case like this so i don't know if that answers your question about how long it takes but i think a lot of it is just about how long you've had the condition what the condition is and also how you live your lifestyle i do believe my father could have gotten quicker results but i will tell you that he said he did not want to change anything in his life and i'm, and I'm not kidding you when i say nothing i mean he continued to eat exactly the way he ate enjoy his wine he's a wine connoisseur um and just lived his normal life the only thing i changed in his life was super clean water i'm really big on clean water because well i have literally a lab report here of what's in water in most of our water and it's so unbelievable that if you actually knew what was in your water you would probably never want to put it in your mouth yeah, wow. and so i'm i believe I'm really it. big on <laughs> it's crazy and so I really want to clean the water because I'm using the high, I'm using the water as a carrier. Yeah. Right? So foundationally, I discovered that water, in my opinion, is extremely important for it to be clean. And mm -hmm. by the way, all water filtration systems are not created equal. No. If you saw the lab reports, it's scary. And so I've done my, I know every water filtration modality in existence. I've, I've not to toot my own horn again, but I, I've become a water expert and I know how to filter it. What's the best way to do it? what's not such a good way to do it. And then the best way to put proper hydrogen, what I would call medical grade, this is very important, the difference between medical grade and non-medical grade hydrogen. Yeah. Um, and it all has to do with purity, just like oxygen. You can go to a, you know, a place where they do welding and they'll have oxygen tanks, but you'd never want to inhale that stuff. And then you go to a hospital and they have oxygen tanks and that's medical grade because it's yeah. a higher grade of purity. And uh, I, I haven't found very many companies that can do it. In fact, there's very few. Yeah. And, um, and so, and I've learned obviously about all the hydrogen equipment and, and what's good and what isn't. So, 
So I don't know if that answers your questions, but that was the best that I could try to sum up sum up the answer to your questions to your question. Now, how how many conditions besides your heart condition did you have to battle with? Man, I had a lot of them. I mean, probably some that were even unknown because I I even forget anymore. I mean, I I did have the tumors. I did have the heart condition. My gut was a mess and my immune system was really bad. Somehow I would get sick. And I'm not kidding. It'd take me a month to a month and a half to get over a cold or the flu or whatever. Yes. And then I would get over it. And I'm not kidding. I would I would get sick all over again within a week. And I'm like, oh, my God, I just got done doing this. And so my immune system was absolute crap. And then I had um, random inflammation throughout my body. So like, that's why my wrists, my fingers, like the, my neck, everything hurts so bad. And sometimes it was so unbearable. I mean, I've literally been prescribed things like morphine, you know, yeah. and some really heavy, heavy, uh, heavy hitters as far as painkillers. Yeah. And they didn't even make a dent. I mean, my pain did not go away. And oftentimes I would just get sick from the pain medicine. And then they would try to give me these anti-inflammatories and, and all this type of stuff. But to be quite honest with you, just about none of it really did much for me. And some of it, you just couldn't take regularly because it would destroy your body and your health. Yeah. And so I, 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 I can't really get to tell you how many of the conditions that I had, but those were just kind of a list of them. I know my liver, my kidney, especially my liver wasn't like at its optimal functioning rate. Yeah. And the gallbladder, I have issues with um, oil, you know, so like when I would eat oil, it would it would be tough. So, yeah, just a lot of a lot of different medical issues. I think my whole body was just out of whack, as you might just call it, you know, yeah. one thing affecting one thing. And there was multiple things going on with me. I wish it would have just been one simple one, but it was it was a lot of stuff. Right. Right. Oh, wow. A little emotional, too, because you know, you know how difficult, how difficult it can be and how it affects you emotionally. And, and oh, so it, it really did a number on my life. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, you know, when you go through any type of illness, you know, it's not only affecting you physically, it's affecting you emotionally too. It's very traumatizing for someone who's going through any type of, of condition, illness, disability, whatever the case may be, you know, um, having to battle with, with, with something that is working against you and not with you is very, very, very difficult, you know? So I'm glad yeah. that this, you know, hydrogen actually helped you, you know, and how long have you been taking it for right now? How long has it been? And you actually hit a key word when you said traumatizing. It's like, I'm still traumatized. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. It's like still inside of me. So sometimes, you know, when you talk about certain subjects, it can come out, but, um, yeah. but as far as the hydrogen, so, I mean, I've been using it for, geez, how many years now? um maybe seven ish eight seven eight maybe nine it's it's been it's been i think a little less than a decade and of course i used a lot of different things like first i i was using things like the king and machine which really ended up being a very bad decision um uh, and i i mean we can go into the, the science about that because they're they're definitely wrong about how they're doing it <laughs> um and then i would use other equipment because it was an evolution to learning because I didn't know about metallurgy. Like I didn't realize how much I had to learn about metals mm -hmm. in order to learn about how to make hydrogen properly. Right. And so, and, and ironically, some of my conditions, there were some improvement, but some of my conditions were not going away. Like the heart condition. I, di I didn't expect my heart condition to go away at all um, with the hydrogen stuff just because, and I wasn't even looking for that. I just didn't want to be in pain. I wanted the ability to walk and to use my, my hands and my wrists and, and, and whatnot, and even my head and my neck, yeah. you know, and, and this type of thing. So it wasn't about till 2018 when a company, the story, I don't know if you know the story about these guys, but it's unbelievable. It's a Japanese guy mm -hmm. who seeked out to make the best hydrogen machine in the world. And he wasn't doing it for profit or money or whatever. He was actually doing it because his daughter uh, had ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how much you know about this story, but basically they, the doctors told him, look, your daughter will probably, she'll be lucky to make it to the age of five years old. She's going to die. And if you can imagine how a parent would feel. Right. And like I said, he seeked out to make the best machine and, and he didn't want to have it done in like China, for example, because by the way, almost all the machines come from China. Even when they claim that they're not made in China, they're using Chinese parts. Yeah. I've done so much research that I discovered that they literally ship parts to somewhere, even Japan, 
and they'll put the machine together and claim that it's made in Japan when it really isn't a true Japanese machine. Right. Um, th this guy was like, no, I'm not going to do that. He said, everything's going to be the best. And I'm not going to go outsource to China. And he did a lot of things that were one-offs. So they, he did a lot of things that nobody had ever done. Some of them deemed impossible. And he created this really amazing machine. And of course, I when I found it, I knew all the data to look for. And this thing checked all the boxes. And I was thinking, what is this company? How come they check in all the boxes when nobody can? And, and then I learned more and more about their product. And of course, I started using their product. And that's actually when my heart condition went away, when I finally started using their machine. And I didn't realize that there was a difference in hydrogen as far as like the quality, the type. And with time, I learned that there's massive differences, even to the point where there's a specialist in Japan who I believe is a neurosurgeon. This guy is really smart, really up there. And yeah. the machine that I use is the only machine that he even recommends in the whole world of hydrogen. Oh, really? It's the only machine. It's the only one that I recommend for my patients, he said. It's the only one I use personally. And I feel the same way now after learning everything about hydrogen. Yeah. Um, and thank, thank God it's affordable too. You know, if it wasn't some $30,000 machine or $100,000 machine, um, but the guy was able to make it so beautifully simple, kind of like iPhones. I mean, iPhones yeah. are cool, right? Um, and yeah, $1,000 may be a lot for an iPhone, but for what it does and everything, it's actually kind of a bargain. And um, I feel the same way about the the hydrogen. So that's that's how, I mean, so yes, I've been drinking the water, but I would say doing proper protocols, mm -hmm. doing the best water, best hydrogen, I probably started really seriously in 2018. So it's been five years of, of doing it the best way. Where do you get your hydrogen? So basically I make it. Right. Oh, so that, well, yeah, because I mean, you can't go, you can't go to a drugstore and buy it and you want it to be made of a certain quality. You also want certain levels of it and you really want access to the water and the gas inhalation. If you really want to do it the right way. Right. Um, and of course, in time, I discovered that almost all hydrogen machines out there are actually inherently unreliable. I did not really realize that. So you'd buy these things and they break, um, not just because they're made in China usually, but just in general, the, the way that the technology works, it's a little bit like a car. You know, yeah. your car is always going to break down or need something. And so when this guy developed this device for his daughter, which by the way, his daughter's like 12 years old now. She's she's totally like a, a medical miracle. She She's already gone double her lifetime um, that they thought she would live. And, you know, the machine that he made ended up being actually extremely reliable, which was really, really nice. And so, yeah, you just make it yourself. It's easy. He made it easy. The machine only has one button. <laughs> so, uh, and I'd done videos showing how to use it because I had a lot of questions myself. And I thought, man, I should just share with the audience when I learn everything about the machine. So I show how to set it up, how to take care of it. I've done all that for free on my, on my YouTube channel. And, uh, and then you just have to have the best water because remember molecular hydrogen is actually in water. Right. You just can't act. You can't access it. That's mm -hmm. the thing that people don't realize. I mean, we're talking oxygen and hydrogen. We're talking two gases that come together to make this liquid we call water. And so you got to extract the gas, you know, so the, the machine has two chambers, one area where it's extracting the gas, but then you have to dissolve it into the water you're actually going to ingest, but it's all done for you. And, really simple i mean if people want to check out the technology that the, the official company website and i wouldn't go to somewhere that's not official just because i've seen this is the number one machine in japan so it has been attempted to be copied and not very good job obviously because the technology is so ahead of everybody yeah and so the official website is called holyhydrogen.com and a very fitting name too it's holy just like the holy waters of lourdes and other places around the world that have holy water but it's called holy hydrogen it's amazing yeah, it sounds amazing. Now, what type of water do you use to, to with your hydrogen? Yeah, so I use carbon distilled. Um, carbon distilled, I discovered through all my research, is the cleanest water. And not just the cleanest for eliminating, you name it, it's removed. It. We're talking from fluoride to PFAS, obviously things like chlorine and simple things like that. But the biggest thing that a lot of people don't think about that I've discovered is in our water is one, I did not realize we have radioactive waste in a lot of our water. Yeah. Almost everybody has PFAS, by the way, what they call forever chemicals. You have to get rid of those. Um, the other thing that people never think about is that our water appears to have 
viruses and bacteria and parasites. Yes. And so no water filtration system, even if they claim it, by the way, um, you'd have to do a, a true lab report. And you also have to understand that these filters that they use are what you call a porous filter. Mm -hmm. So although you'll get one result at the first 100 gallons of filtration, yes. test the water after 500 gallons, it's not going to be the same anymore. Right. Um, and the reason the reason that I went with carbon distillation uh, was because that's how nature does it. So yeah. I started observing nature. And this is a really neat story because the water filtration of Mother Nature or the, the planet Earth actually starts with hydrogen. I don't know right. if you knew that because the sun is made up of almost entirely hydrogen. And so yeah. the sun hits the ocean. The water ascends, you know, the steam rises. Right. And it separates itself from all the impurities. So a lot of people are unaware that snow and rain is distilled water. That's yeah. what it is. And so I looked for the best equipment. Um, I, like I said, I looked at a third party, you know, lab tests. Yeah. To, yeah. This is just a third party lab test that was done. And there's pages, by the way, numerous pages of the chemicals in our water. I mean, just tons of them. And then they show after carbon distillation, the numbers, like if I were to just pick a random one, in fact, right here, uh, PFAS. Yes. Mm -hmm. These two. And mm -hmm. the numbers here, see how they go to zero? See how everything's zero here? Yeah. That's that's after carbon distillation. And these are the numbers before. So wow. it removes everything. I mean, nothing can remove it like carbon distillation. And the, and the good news is, is that it's affordable. And yeah. I mean, if you want to know the site that I use, because I found them to be the best, they really are American made. Instead of a lot of the, I hate to say Chinese ones, but you know, they don't make a lot of good products, um, in my opinion. And this is at a website called mypurewater.com. Wow. And, and, I, and if people want a discount code, you know, they don't have to use it, but the code is uprising 144K if they want a discount. And um, so that's the water that I use because it's the cleanest. Mm -hmm. And then once I use that water, and it also keeps the machine clean. I've noticed that the cleaner the water, yeah. the cleaner the hydrogen machine stays. And then, uh, and then I just use the magical, you know, machine from Holy Hydrogen. The Japanese machine is just awesome. And that's how I do it. It's pretty simple. It's really simple, actually. So do you make like a certain quantity at each day? Is that how you do it? Like you you refrigerate it, you make it, you refrigerate it, or you just leave it out, however you do it. But you make like a certain amount each day. So it's like a, a daily process that you have to do. Yes, um, I definitely have my routine, but it's so easy. Basically, the machine will make 1.5 liters. Okay. At a full saturation. So full saturation of hydrogen. Um, 1.5 liters, it takes 30 minutes for the machine to do it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have it all set up. My routine is I wake up in the morning and I literally just go hit the button on the machine. Mm -hmm. And then I, and then I do other routine stuff. Like I always like, I, okay. So I do a lot of self-care stuff now. Like I treat my body, like it's the most important thing in the world to you me should. Yeah. because my health is everything. Right. Mm -hmm. And I've also felt, I've also noticed through experience how it's affected my mental health too, having the body right. Right. And uh, so it's just been nothing. It's the most important thing to me. And the Japanese discovered they do a lot of uh, interesting scientific studies in Japan about health that you never hear yeah. in America, stuff that you would never think, think of. Right. And so I take a toothbrush with no toothpaste, just water. I brush my teeth for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then brush the inner surfaces. So the inner lining of the cheeks, the roof of the mouth and the tongue. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, well, why are you doing this in the morning? Well, the Japanese discovered that we literally grow certain bacteria in our mouth at night some of them even cancer causing and they're really bad for our health so when we drink water or eat something or drink coffee we actually are inadvertently ingesting these bacteria into our system yeah. mm -hmm. so the first thing i do is clean my mouth and you know and i'll do a few things i'll get you know dressed i'll stretch whatever and then the water will be ready you know about 30 minutes sometimes i'll just jump back in bed for 30 minutes and i'll hear the machine go off and i know that it's been 30 minutes that's like a yeah. snooze button uh, but then that's how I, that's how long it takes. But the thing is, is that once you make it, hydrogen is such an amazing molecule. I, I call it the ascension molecule because hydrogen yeah. ascends. See, if we were to take water and we separate oxygen and hydrogen from each other, right? Hyd hydrogen actually ascends, oxygen drops to the ground like a dead person would. Right. It's actually a heavy molecule. It's a larger molecule. It's actually not as, it's, I mean, oxygen's great, but it's nothing like hydrogen. Hydrogen is like, I'll tell you some of the other stories about it here in a, in, in a moment that are just, they're hard to believe, but they've all been proven to be true. Yeah. So, so basically the hydrogen comes out of the water very quickly. Mm -hmm. So if I were to pour it in a glass, 
I mean, it's going to roughly be gone within one hour. Right. But that means that in half an hour, you've already lost half your hydrogen. Right. And you want as much of it as you can possibly get. So the machine is designed that once it's fully saturates the water with hydrogen, mm -hmm. it goes into this mode called standby mode. Right. Which is basically just continuing to trickle little bits of hydrogen into the water to maintain full saturation all the time. Right. So as long as the pitcher's on the machine, I can just grab it, pour a glass, put it right back on the machine. And then that, that water is always good, you know, and then I drink the water. Personally, I drink it within a few minutes. I don't, I don't walk around my water. I, I pour it. I drink it. I pour it. I, I just want to ingest it right away. Empty stomach. I discovered is the best way to do it. And then that's it. So every single morning I always consume about one liter because the, the maximum amount of water that you should drink is no more than one liter in one hour. Mm -hmm. And the science behind that is that anything after that amount begins to strain your kidneys. Oh, okay. So I hit the limit. So I do one liter every morning and then I go about my day, which is, you know, making smoothies. I'm really big on my nutrition now. Um, even to the point where I've had, I was doing a lot of blood work to make sure that what I was doing is working and that I'm doing it the right way. Cause I've created my own method. Um, but what's funny is that I've had numerous calls from physicians, you know, doctors, even naturopaths. Cause after they see my blood work, I literally will get a call and they're like, Hey, you know, I want to talk to, you know, Greg or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, speaking and just want to know how I'm doing it. They said, you know, I, I would, I saw your blood work and I've never seen blood work like this. And I've been doing blood work for decades. They said, how are you accomplishing this? And I was surprised. I've never gotten a call like that from any physician. Yeah. And um, so, and ever since then, I've, I've done a lot of education and, and I've helped. I mean, I've worked with oncologists. I've worked with naturopaths. I've worked with, you know, just primary care physicians. I've worked with so many, you know, health coaches and uh, teaching people a lot of these methods that I've created, which are very much backed by science. It's not like I just made it up, but I yeah, I pull things from different areas and put them together and make like, you know, this protocols that I've created. That's that's amazing. Now, do you do you put the water in any type of container? Because like certain plastics can, if it's, you know, heat generated, can put toxins into the water and so forth. Is there a specific type of container you use that is, that you feel is safer than another container? And how do you store your water once you make well, it? Well, if you want to take the water with you, or if you want to store it, there's pretty much only one way to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's extremely difficult. Your average container will not be able to contain hydrogen. Hydrogen's so amazing and so special. It will literally go right through glass. It oh, will go wow. right through walls. Yeah, it's like a it's like a ghost. Sometimes I call it like, it's like a holy ghost, you know, because <laughs> of what it does to the body. And, I, and yeah. I'm not kidding you. When you realize what it does for the body, you begin to wonder. I, I mean, I literally wondered, like, this stuff seems... I mean, yes, darn right spiritual, but, you know, that's why I named my channel what I did actually, Uprising 144K, you know, the 144K are the 12 tribes of 12,000 in ancient scripture. But it is, it, the more you look at this molecule, it's so amazing. And so there's a special bag that the Japanese developed. Again, they're, they're the ones who are the only ones that I can find that have the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. And if you put the hydrogen water in there that is made a certain way, because depending on how you make it, yeah. You know, there's certain ways, like people use hydrogen pills. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Um, I'm definitely not a fan. I would never take them mm -hmm. uh, for people who are listening. In my opinion, just don't do it uh, for many reasons. But because they create this chemical reaction and I like the purity of my hydrogen and my water. So anyway, when you do something like that or you use hydrogen under pressure in water, you're going to 80 to 90 percent of the hydrogen is going to be gone in like 50 seconds. Wow. So it has to be more stable than that if we really want to use it properly. And the way that the Hydrofix, which is the name of the device that I use, the way that this machine makes it, it's much more stable. So once you put that in these special pouches, mm -hmm. these special pouches can contain the hydrogen only for a certain amount of time, not forever. The hydrogen will always be able to somehow get away. Yeah. Um, but it will last a whole day. So you could take the bag with you all day. If you put the bag on its side in the refrigerator, they discover that the hydrogen like 90% of the hydrogen will stay in the water for like a week. Oh, wow. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, under refrigeration. Because temperature affects the way the hydrogen escapes from water, by the way. So. Oh, very cool. 
Now, is this something I like, is this gadget something that you keep in your kitchen? Is it something like you put like, uh, like on the, on the, on the shelf and you just, you know, you utilize it when you need the water and so forth. Is that how you, uh, is it small or is it a big machine? Yeah. So the Japanese, I love how they did it. They made it small. So they made it like a coffee maker, basically. So it's in your kitchen. I have one in my little bedroom that I rent, you know, and it's, it's very easy to use. And yeah, it's always sitting there just like making coffee. It's like you're brewing coffee, but you're actually brewing this magical hydrogen water. Yeah. So you don't have to catch a flight all the way to France. Right. <laughs> every exactly. single time you want some. Yeah. And uh, you, you can have it every single day. It's like literally having your own natural spring in your house of this magical holy water. And um, so, yeah, you can, you can pretty much have it anywhere. It's very easy to, to, to use. Now, where can we find this machine? Well, the official company is called holyhydrogen.com. They actually just came out with a new model, which is unbelievable. I cannot believe how these guys continue to push the envelope. It kind of reminds me of like Elon Musk with his electric cars. Yeah. Or his rockets. He, he's always pushing the envelope and he's just light years ahead of everybody else, it seems. And uh, so this company, the website's called holyhydrogen.com. And they just came out with this new model, which I don't even have yet. I actually want to get it myself because they've improved another aspect to the machine. And I mean, like I said, nobody can touch it. The The metal that they use for the machine, the science, the metallurgy, nobody, nobody has it. Like there's only one company in the world that makes it and nobody uses it except for this one company, Holy Hydrogen Company. Wow. And they also created a special membrane because a lot of the membranes in like these devices, I hate to say this, but like these little cheap Chinese devices like this one. Yeah. The membranes, I saw lab reports. And of course, I'm not going to make any claims or anything. I always have to be careful because some people don't like me saying anything. I'm not naming any brands either. Uh, but the membranes I saw in lab tests, they were coming up positive for PFOS. Oh, wow. And that was scary to me because what yeah. I've noticed about all the hydrogen stuff out there, whether it's machines, there's, there's some that are called Brown's gas. They use a chemical yeah. called sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide which is also known as lye, mm -hmm. is very toxic. Um, I would never use a machine like that. And they don't even make pure hydrogen. And then there's the pills. I definitely stay away from those for numerous reasons I won't go into. Yeah. Um, and so, and then you find these type of equipment and they have these membranes. And I just recently saw a lab report. I had no idea that they had PFAS in the membranes. Wow. And so of course, looking at the machine, the Holy Hydrogen machine, they have a membrane this like actually very new special type of membrane that is again made from made by the Japanese. It's a special Japanese membrane. And when they tested it, it has no PFAS. It's extremely clean. And and the quality is also higher and it lasts longer and it makes better nanobubble. I mean the, the things that it does is just light years ahead of everybody. And again, the fact that this technology exists and that we can get our hands on it is such a miracle because yeah. When I was first trying to get into it, this was not available. <laughs> right. Know? Yeah. So hydrogen's right. come a long way. And so I'm grateful wow. for that. That's pretty amazing. Now you were telling me about your YouTube channel. Where can I find yes. your YouTube channel? So if you just go to YouTube and type in uprising 144K, boom, you'll find my channel. I think if you type in the hydrogen man, you might also find me. Um, I have some videos on Rumble, um, but it's I, they're not as up to date as YouTube. I am on quote unquote Instagram and Twitter, but the truth is I don't do a ton of stuff there. I'm not a real big computer guy. Yeah. And this has been mostly something that I was doing to just help others. So it's not really like a full-time job or anything. Yeah. But my YouTube channel is where I always put my latest stuff, most current information, tons of educational videos. Um, I share testimonials. In fact, the company has uh, their own YouTube channel. I think it's called Holy Hydrogen. Mm -hmm. um, because some of the people that I've worked with, like there was a woman who had traumatic brain injury TBI, yeah. um, from a car accident. Uh, there was another woman who actually had like Alzheimer's dementia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these things were basically deemed incurable. Uh, doctors couldn't help them. They tried and never, and never really went anywhere. And one of them is, it, it actually reminded me of a story you were similar saying, um, this woman contacted me and she could barely speak. She couldn't talk very well. Uh, every roughly 20 seconds, she would forget what she had already said. Wow. And it was it was very difficult to communicate with her. What I did not know is I gave her my protocol. I helped her. And it was hard to spend a lot of time, but my heart went out to her, of course. And I spent hours with her trying to help her. 
understand how to use the hydrogen properly. And off on her way, she went and I got a call about six or eight months later and I did not recognize who it was. And she's like, hey, I just wanted to let you know one thing. This is the hydrogen man, right? And I said, yeah. She said, I just want to say thank you. You saved my life. And I was like, who is this? <laughs> you know, yeah. whose life did I save? And, uh, and she said, you don't remember me. And she started telling me, you know, who she was. And I was like, wait a second, I do remember you. You just sound so different. Yeah. Well, she said, yeah, what you, what you didn't know is that I was actually going to take my life because I couldn't live like this. And I was like, oh my God. And she said, I made a prayer and you popped up the very next day on some feed somewhere. And, uh, and she said, I just followed it because I felt that it was, it was the right thing to follow. Yeah. And she said, this stuff absolutely changed my life. She said, I can think again straight. I can remember things. I can talk normal. When all doctors said it was impossible to fix this issue, your protocol did it. Yeah. And she ended up doing, because I don't really do podcasts. The truth is, I don't know how, how to record for an hour upload it or whatever. I'm not a computer guy. So I just told the company about her story because they do that. And I yeah. thought, man, they need to show her story. So they did they did an interview on their on their platform and shared her story and she's on there. But and then I have other videos, the dementia and Alzheimer's. Literally a lady wrote me and she said she did the hydrogen for her mother. And she said I never she actually wrote me and said, is is this the way the hydrogen is supposed to work? Because her mother's results were unbelievable. I mean, we are talking yeah. about dementia, Alzheimer's. We are told that this is not something that can be fixed. Right. And what it did for her mother was so mind blowing. I am so glad she took pictures of before and after because I posted her story on one of on my YouTube channel. Yeah. And when you see the pictures, it's clear as day. You can literally see it in her eyes. You can see it in her face, the expressions, and just the way she looks every so many months of using the hydrogen. And uh, the daughter was so blown away. So she she reached out because of that too. So anyway, lots of amazing stories. I I, I still can't believe this hydrogen stuff. Um, never seen anything work like this ever in my life. It's unbelievable. Wow, this is amazing. And now do you do any type of services or any type of coaching or anything? Are you just spreading the word right now and just trying to make people more aware? Well, you know, a lot of people have wanted me to help them because of what I've been through. And I ended up learning I never really thought that I would be a coach or even a health expert, but that's basically what has happened. I've become, dare I say, extremely knowledgeable about how different things work in the human body. And so, yes, I do coaching, um, dare I say, a little reluctantly uh, because it takes a lot of my time and there's other things that I'm trying to do now, knowing the knowledge. I always kind of compare it to climbing a mountain. Yeah. Sometimes if you're a really good mountain climber, you just want to climb. You don't want people you know, you don't want to take 10 other people with you, Yeah. you know, and have them tie down to you and stuff like that. So I'm really yeah. trying to take this journey to a whole other level because this is going to sound weird, Stacey. I'm just going to share with you just because it's, we're here. Um, but in time, I didn't expect this to happen. My body, I was really going after purity. Yeah. I was thinking that maybe a lot of my medical issues were because of chemicals and food, chemicals and water, chemical. I mean, all these things maybe destroyed my health. And I grew up in a very toxic environment as far as yeah. the water and the food and, and the city that I grew up in. And so I was going after purity. This is why I wanted the cleanest water, the cleanest food and, and whatnot. Yeah. What I did not expect is that it literally fe started feeling with time, of course, it literally felt like hydrogen started to communicate with me. And I know that sounds extremely wacky, especially from a guy who believes in science and and I'm more of a data guy. Mm -hmm. And I know how silly this sounds, but I can share something with you. And you probably have heard of it. You ever heard of uh, Masaru Emoto, Hidden Messages in Water? Um, I know the concept of, of the book, but I don't, I've never read it. So basically Masaru Emoto was, again, a Japanese guy. These Japanese guys, they... They think outside the box. It's the craziest thing. But basically what he discovered is that water responds to your voice, to your thoughts, to music, to pictures. I mean, and he was able to measure it and show in, in images that water responds. Well, we're primarily made of water, yeah. right? And, and I think we know that if we have stressful thoughts, our body reacts. Our stomach yeah. can get tight. Um, we Our heart rate can go up. Right. So emotions affect your body of water right um but what i also began to realize is that water has memory mm -hmm. and that's something that, that he clearly touched on and what i did not realize is that eventually as i felt that the hydrogen began to communicate with me 
hydrogen to me appears to carry all the secrets of the universe because it was the very first thing when all of creation happened. I mean, if you look at ancient scripture, it says, let there be light. Yes. Well, the light, the light is hydrogen, by the mm -hmm. way. That's what hydrogen is. Our sun yeah. is light. The stars are hydrogen. And basically we are ingesting light when we're taking in this hydrogen stuff. Yeah. And, and you should see what it does to the blood and the brain. I mean, it's unbelievable. The science is there. And it's so miraculous. And then I started having the craziest ideas coming. I mean, I am not an engineer. I am not an inventor, but I'm not kidding you. I have so many things that have come to me in my mind. And one of these days I want to connect with someone like, I hope to connect with someone like Elon Musk someday, because I, if I share these ideas, I, I believe they can not only be implemented and the things that we could do with hydrogen, yeah. the food that we could grow, by the way, food that the world hasn't seen for I and mean, we don't even know that it exists because we haven't seen it right. for at least thousands of years. Exactly. And the, the things that it can do for our health and our body. I mean, I won't even go down the road of all the things that are in my mind, but I literally have like, dare I say, almost schematics of, a, of yeah. devices that I want to build. And, um, and I thought it was weird that these things were coming to me. And eventually, I just would say that I developed a relationship with hydrogen. And I love it. I absolutely love the stuff and what it does for us. And it's absolutely required for all of life. You cannot have life without it. It is the source of all life. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. This is amazing. This whole discussion has been amazing. I'd love to have you back on the show. I really would. I'd love to like That'd talk be. about this and, and, you know, there's a lot of different topics that we could talk about with that. We've already discussed right now. We could pull out and I think would be very beneficial. I don't think people realize the importance of hydrogen and how it affects the body and how it could actually be used as a healing tool. So this has been, this has been amazing. And before we go, I just even, to, go ahead, oh, okay. finish, finish. Well, I would just say, I would say, you know, even on a spiritual front, I never thought that it would be a spiritual thing. And it became very enlightening to have this molecule with me flowing through my veins all the time. Yeah. And that was something that was that, that was very unexpected in regards to you know the hydrogen the hydrogen journey there was something else i was going to say but it actually just slipped my mind well but, think um, about it though it th you know it it helped heal you so now all those stresses all those things you were dealing with are now gone so in a spiritual sense yes. the pain the 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 stress the the frustration all those negative emotions have been lifted upon you and off of you. So it's put you in a whole new frame of mind, a whole new light and a whole, it's given you a whole new meaning to life in a sense. It's like, it is like a new life. And, and you know, one of the things that I was actually going to mention is how unbelievably amazing it is for the gut. So a lot yeah. of, I've, I've worked with people with IBS, people with Crohn's disease, celiac disease, all these gut issues, which I also had. And it is so incredible, but we know that almost 80% of our immune systems in our gut, and now we're learning more through science, the connection between the gut and the brain. Yeah. So I actually think that hydrogen is going to be an absolute game changer for all these people with mental health issues mm -hmm. because, you know, people are on all these antidepressants. And I mean, honestly, the, the long-term data on antidepressants doesn't look good from what I've read. Mm -mm. Um, I would not be taking them personally. Um, but I think hydrogen is going to be a huge game changer in regards to that. I even did a testimonial video of a guy who said that it changed his life as far as his mental attitude and the way that he looks at things. He just couldn't believe that hydrogen would do that. And he wrote me this long email and I did a, a video on it because it, I've noticed that pattern with me too and how it's affected my mind, not just my health. But yeah. I think we know that the body affects the mind, the, the, you know, vice exactly. versa. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it, it is just, a, it's a beautiful story. And I, and I, and I feel like we're just scraping the surface of it. We are. And, yeah. you know, and I think that the memory again, within water actually comes from the hydrogen molecule. I mm -hmm. think that's where the memory is truly stored. And uh, we're just learning to unlock it. And, um, and have you heard of the age of Aquarius, by the way? No. Mm -mm. So they say that the age of Aquarius, which we're entering, Aquarius really stands for water. And in ancient scriptures, they say that it is the golden age. Like we're going to be coming into this age that could be so amazing for mankind. Right. And they and I think that the thing that nobody realizes, this is what has come to me, is that the age of Aquarius actually has a lot to do with the knowledge of water and ultimately the knowledge of hydrogen. Because hydrogen is going to change the world of agriculture. It's going to change the world of health. It's going to change the world of energy. I mean, we can, we can have clean energy with things like hydrogen. Yeah. And so it can change <clears throat> literally... I believe it can change the world. 
And so this is going to be very exciting for the years to come. And I'm sure we'll, I, I would love to have more conversations with you about it. It's going to be very exciting. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I look forward to having you back on the show. And before we go, just tell everybody your the website um, that has the hydrogen machine and then tell everybody once again, your YouTube channel. So it's embedded in their head so they can go there. <laughs> so yeah, the official company is holyhydrogen.com. You can go check out scientific data. You can check out the actual machine, why it's the best. And then my YouTube channel is uprising 144k. And I got videos about my story, about hydrogen. And then sometimes I like to just put little things out there in regards to my life, you know, just yeah. funny little things that happen. You know, if I see, um, I don't know, I saw a whole family of deer and they were so cute. And I just post stuff like that sometimes. Well, I think people love that. My life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. This has been amazing. Thank you so much, Greg, for coming on the show. I, I've I've had a amazing time with you and I hope to have you back on shortly. Thank you so much for everything. This has been very valuable information and hopefully someone out there is listening and you're going to be able to change some people's lives today. I think that's the most important part. If anything, I would tell the audience out there that's listening. One, you know, if you know people who are suffering and they don't really have options or they have really negative options that the doctor prescribes possibly, mm -hmm. um, let them know about hydrogen. The world's, the word's not going to get out unless people talk about it. Exactly. And you know, and then someday, you know, I hope to, I love your show. And and one guy that I would love to, for him to learn about hydrogen, who I don't think knows much about is someone like Joe Rogan, you know, and, and I almost want to petition everybody like, Hey, write him a letter. Cause he's so great too, you know, and it would be, if I ever get on there, I'd love to give you a shout out too when I'm on there because yeah. of Stacy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and hopefully, you, you know, maybe you can even get on there sometime too, because you have an amazing story too, as we were talking about. So lot, lots of good stuff. So we'll give them a shout out and we'll see what happens, you know? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, thank you so much, Greg, for coming on this show. This has been an amazing experience and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. But actually, thank you. I really appreciate you having me on. And it was it was a uh, pleasure speaking with you. Oh, it was a pleasure speaking with you. You have a great day. Thank you. You too.